Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. My name is Basketball Coach Allen and today I'm going to give you some baseline swing basketball plays. So hello everyone, my name is Alan from Al's Basketball Training. On this channel, if you're new, I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit that like button and subscribe. And if you see these, this, these pictures below the video, uh, go ahead and buy one if you want. It's up to you. Anyways, so today I'm going to give you some baseline swing basketball plays. Now these are basketball plays that have a player who's cutting baseline using some screens. And then you have a player who's up at the point who is swinging the basketball around to one, two, or maybe even three players to get that player who's cutting baseline open for a three-point or mid-range shot. Let's get down to the clipboard and let's see these basketball plays. Okay, so in this first play, I'm going to show you it against a man-to-man -man defense that we're in right now, and then we're going to switch over to a 2-3 zone. Now, first in this video, we're going to have player 4 setting a screen for player 1, and at the same time, we're going to have player 5 and player 3 setting screens down along the baseline. Once that is complete and they have set those screens, what's going to happen now is player 1 is going to use that screen, and player 4 is going to pop out, and player 2 is then going to be cutting baseline using both player 3 and player 5 as a screen and popping out. When player 4 pops out, what's going to happen is player 1 will pass player 4 the ball. Now they could switch, they might not switch, it depends on the team. And then what's going to happen is player 3 or player 2 is going to be cutting base the baseline. Player 4 is going to dribble a bit to his left side here so that he can get an open passing lane to player 2 who is either at the 3 point line or in the mid-range area. Now let's see it against the 2-3 zone. So now against the 2-3 zone, it's going to be very similar. It's not going to be any different except player 5 and player 3 are going to be screening these two players. And what's going to happen here? Player 1 is going to use that screen. Now, of course, player one could shoot that ball if he's wide open and he wanted to because at this point we have three players who could be getting a rebound. But then player four is going to pop out and player one is going to pass player four that ball. Next, player two is going to be either cutting in between players three and five or he could be cutting out completely. It's up to him. Player four is going to dribble out to this side and pass player two the ball for that three-point shot. Now this will work against the 3-2 zone as well. Just instead of popping up this high against the 3-2 zone, he would be popping out a little bit lower and player 4 would need to dribble a little bit farther over to get him that pass. Now I'm going to show you a 3-out, 2-in offense with a baseline swing play. And what we're going to do is have player 4 set a screen for player 2. And player 5 is going to be setting up the screen. This is essentially a staggered screen that they are setting up. Player 2 is going to use that screen, he's going to pop out to this wing, and one of two things can happen up here. Either player 3 is going to set a screen on player 1, and he's going to use that screen, or what can happen is if player 3 is open enough, player 1 can just pass him the ball, so that when player 2 gets out to that, that wing, the 3-point line or the mid-range shot, he can hit him up for that pass. Now against a 2-3 zone defense, and I'm showing you 2-3 because it's a very popular uh, play, but what we're going to do here is something a bit different. What we're going to do is have player 4 still setting a screen for player 4. Player 5 is going to be setting a screen for player 5. And what's going to happen is player 3 is going to be setting a screen on player 3. This way, player 2 can then cut down towards the baseline and pop back out, or he could do a high cut. It's up to him. Uh, this play works either way. If he goes and does a low cut, what has to happen is player 3 needs to set a screen below player 3. That way player 1 can dribble over. Player 2 would then cut through and pop out. And this would be a 3-point shot down in that low corner. Now if he did a high cut, what's going to happen is we would have player 3 uh, setting a screen a little bit higher on player 3 red. So that when player 2 does that high cut, it can be a 3-point shot from there. Now against the 3-2 zone, if you're going up against that, he will be popping down to this area down here because that is very weak against a 3-2 zone. Now I'm going to show you uh, a baseline swing play against a high 1-4. Now against the high 1-4, what's going to happen is we're going to have player 4 setting a screen on player 3, and player 5 is going to set up a bit lower for a screen down in the low block. Next, we're going to have player 2 setting a screen for player 1. 
Player 3 is going to be cutting baseline, popping out to somewhere in this area. And now player 1 can hit him up for a mid-range or a 3-point shot. Now this will work against a 2-3 zone defense as well. Now against a 2-3 zone defense, very similar. We're going to have players 4, 3, and or sorry, 4, 5, and 2 setting screens. Player 3 is going to use that baseline. Player 1 is going to dribble out to this side. And what's going to happen is player 3 should be open in that low corner. Now, of course, this doesn't necessarily have to be a doesn't have to be a low post or a baseline uh, cut. He could actually cut right across, do a high cut, and he could be open there as well. So there's a few different options here too, depending on if the defense is cheating, if you've ran it along the baseline too many times. Uh, you can do a high cut and uh, really confuse the defense. Now these are some very simple basketball plays that you can run with your team to get open three-point shots and mid-range shots. If you have enjoyed today's video, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys again tomorrow for another daily basketball video.